Hi guys. All right, so before I jump into this video, I just have to tell you, for whatever reason, <clears throat> I'm experiencing a lot of post-nasal drip, which usually doesn't happen at noon. I don't know why, but <clears throat> I'm having to like clear my throat. I know that's annoying. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I literally want to do no editing with this video, to be honest. I just want to drag and drop, upload, export, bippity boppity boo. If you watched the unexpected news video about the fact that we are moving. Anyways, I want to do a part two of this video, especially if you saw how the unexpected news video ended where I kind of cut the audio and you didn't really know what I was saying because <clears throat> I knew I wanted this to be kind of a two part video. It's been hard to vlog, you know, the, the whole upstairs I've pretty much have already um, a lot of it packed. The craft room is packed. The guest bedroom is packed. I still have to do other things in the media room. Um, but it's just becoming harder and that's why I knew I wanted to do like a two-part video where I can finally um, put out that I'm moving and then that way the vlogs can now kind of go on and I can actually show you that I'm packing and I'm doing all these things and, and the vlogs can then continue. Um, <clears throat> but then the second part I didn't, I still at the point of when I'm releasing basically, um, the, this is probably very confusing. I'm sorry if I'm confusing anybody, but the reason why I want to do a part two is because I didn't want to release where we're moving to until after everything is said and done. So up until again, this point, as you can see, I'm in the old house and by the time you're watching this i'm not here anymore i have now moved so in today's video i wanted to tell you guys kind of about the house and where we're moving to because it is a very big change but i never thought that i would kind of have the guts to do it but we're moving we're moving out of texas and we're moving to florida what what me I'm, it's, it's all, it's a lot for me. It's a lot for me. Even though I wasn't born in Texas, I was born in New Orleans, but I've been in Texas since I was like six and a half. So I mean like, I'm a Texan. You know, I'm 40 years old. So I went to elementary, middle school, high school, raised my daughter. My daughter was born in Dallas, Texas. So um, <clears throat> officially Dallas, Texas, zip code and all. But um, I, <sighs> this is home it's always going to be home but i've always i have been called in my mind and just in my heart to florida for so long longer than i've been on youtube by the way and one of the biggest reasons actually that like always appealed to me was my health there was just something about living here in Dallas that has been very hard for me health-wise in terms of um, just allergies and my cough. Um, a lot of you actually helped me figure out my own cough where doctors just write you off, oh, acute chronic bronch or acute bronchitis, this, that, and it's like, no, something else is happening here and I have dry air induced asthma and it could happen in hot weather and cold weather because I've noticed I can get my cough in both heat and cold or hot and cold temperatures. So it's definitely dry air that has been the biggest culprit for me. And it explains so much because whenever I would go to Florida on vacations, I didn't cough one time and that makes sense because it's humid there um you know and the irony is every time i would go see my doctor for my bronchitis it was humidifier 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 kind of thing but anyways i have been longing to go to florida for such a long time for help you know another big thing was just the ocean it is healing for me it's a dream for me. Some people love the mountains. Some people love the country rural life and some people love the city life. They love New York City and I love those things too. I love seeing everyone's different, like their different dreams. 
this one in particular is my dream and if you watched again that the part one of this i talked about how i really had no plans and so this is where i wanted to talk to you guys about why i had set the october to february timeline because in my mind i actually already had a city picked out and an exact neighborhood picked out um, I knew exactly where I wanted to go and that was actually another big thing that pushed me off to moving to Florida. I loved the idea of it, but I hadn't visited enough cities to know where I wanted to move and so I was frightened that I would pick a random city and like what if I didn't like it, you know? It, I just thought it would be too much of a shock for me. So when I talked about the part about me traveling and when I resolve to buying my car i was like i'll travel more so the plan was i'll just travel to florida to a bunch of different places see where i liked the most and that's how i was going to find out where i wanted to live but then i realized that there was a very specific neighborhood that i wanted to live in so but i knew that finding listings in this neighborhood and in my price point was probably going to take some time but I went ahead and reached out to an agent. This was, I think, at the end of April because this has all moved very, very fast. Um, so at the end of April, thinking to myself, I was gonna have this October to February time frame. I found this agent who's freaking fabulous. And I told her, I was like, straight out the bat, I was like, this neighborhood, that's it. Nothing else, I don't care about anything else. I will wait for however long I need to wait for something to come up within my price point here. So, um, and then I, then I saw the house that I'm buying now. Again, this isn't real time, so I've already closed, I've already moved, I'm already in Florida at this point. But when I first saw this house, I was just like, no, because next thing I know, it's like 30 days later not 30 days later okay actually backtrack a little bit i think i reached out and got this agent somewhere in the beginning or middle ish of april again with the october time frame is in mind it wasn't until the end of april um that i actually went back to this house so sometime in the beginning of april i had seen it said no um and then so this house has been sitting on the market still and then the second time i saw it it was like i was seeing it for the first time another thing that was really hard for me when i made this decision too was honestly having to tell my brother this was a very another thing that just kept putting me off and putting me off um i just it it's the worst part of it all is literally like moving away from him my niece nephew my sister-in-law the people i see the most and but there is a silver lining to this because i feel like when we see each other it will be for like a weekend or a week and we'll actually get quality time because when we see each other we're really kind of don't spend too much time together we know we're gonna see each other so much more and we're we're both very excited and he's very excited for me so that's just a true best friend he has been literally every day he checks in he's like how's it going where are we at i mean it is just like the support is so important to me that's why when i tell you guys and i thank you so much for being so kind and so supportive it's a big deal to me um and there's, I can't describe it because it's not words, it's a feeling, um, but it literally moves mountains in my mind. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. it. It's just so, it's such a big deal to me. So him calling in and checking in and, and loving this for me, it's just, it's everything. Um, it's the same equivalent to how you treat me in the comment section. Um, literally the same feeling. There's no difference just because I'm related to him and I don't really have ever met you in person. But the support, support is support. Um, so anyways, so, and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see Loki's reaction to the beach, which isn't too, too far. 
and he's seen snow and he's obsessed with snow like i've never seen a dog with just pure happiness like i cannot wait to see his reaction to sand and the ocean but anyways that's it i feel like i could honestly just talk for 30 minutes about this because i've been keeping a lot of it in um so it just if you can't tell it's just been like word vomit um I've hate, it's been the worst part about this, honestly, is not telling you guys. That's that. And I guess I'll see you in Florida.